straight away, ladies and gentlemen, we are now ready to move on to the next bout on the show. Once again, scheduled for five three-minute rounds, this will be fought under full Muay Thai rules. And let me first of all introduce to you in the blue corner, fighting out of Minotaur's gym in Watford. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Salah! They're coming out of a loss against Johnson Klein two rounds. A line fight, you know what, listen. He can lose to Johnson Klein, it's allowed. He's just a bit done, isn't he? And you know what? It, must, it takes bottle, it takes nerves, it's got payday, and I'm sure he learned something from it. I don't like going to the thing with Johnson Klein. So I'll give him credit for that hats off to him. But Salah versus Steeler for the Hanuman Gym in Darlington. This is going to be one for the purest here on Yokao 10. Yeah, Sattler, you know, incredible self belief. Good style as well, good elbow. Not the fastest of fights, but very methodical. Likes to bring a fight down to his pace. Got great elbows. And enjoys every moment, doesn't he? My, my voice is in ring entrance, Andy Sauer, beat that. Yeah, that's it, it was. Beat that. Anyway, I'm ready to have the ego nourish. Salah Salah's now my best favourite ever. <laughs> now we've seen, we, we had him fight, didn't we, against Justin Grekowitz in America, yeah, and he pulled out an elbow that was absolutely really sharp. Wasn't it? And facing Salah this evening, his opponent in the right corner, fighting out of the Hanuman Muay Thai gym in Darlington. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Steve Steve Long makes his way to the ring after fighting an absolutely superb fight against a young man that I really enjoy watching, Josh the Scorpion Turbill. That was a great fight, Josh winning that on points. I've seen Steve Long and he's very, very strong. Come for good in the clinch, well schooled by Craig Willis as ever. But Salah and him is a clash. Both of them coming off losses. Well supported, Steve Long. Yeah, it's going to be a good fight, these two. I'm going to talk about Salah. Very, very, looks for his shots, sharp elbow, watch for his left elbow on the counter, that's great. And uh, Steve Long, I'm talking about again, strong, durable, good in the clinch as well. Ladies and gentlemen, in the red corner, Steve Long! So the beast, Kelly versus Steve Long, a sly smile almost, in disdain across the lips of the Libyan, now residing in London. Yeah, he's been training a long time, Salah, you know, he's had a big amateur background. He's starting to make a name for himself. He has four heavier weights. He's fought all around as well, all around the world. Lived in Thailand for a little bit. Again, Steele on World School as well. And as each second ticks away, up the scale we go. And Yokao Ten, because coming up later on, the world title, the first one at 70 kilos, the young magician from the Leeds area. And the Bad Company gym and now training with M Ethic MMA in Hong Kong. Jordan Watson fights Mikhail Pisitello. And that's coming up later on. And I'll tell you something, Mikhail Pisitello is from the Nasser gym. And Nasser gyms lot are absolutely rock. Yeah, they, oh. they turn that fire off the fire. You know what? I mean, well. you, you, look, you must look across the ring and think, oh, not one of them. <laughs> you know? You must. But anyway, nevertheless, Steve Long. 
and Salah, the beast Khalif, two very, very stylish young men who live, breathe, and absolute and on occasion bleed Muay Thai. Yeah, good weight division as well. Salah weighing 67 kilos yesterday. It's the first time he's weighed that light in a long time. And I, I think it's his, his preferred weight. Yeah, I, I do. And he, he looks well on it, doesn't he? You know? He looks well. He looks healthy. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's right. You know, let's talk about next year. All being goes well. Steelong, Brad Stanton. Sorry, not Steelong. Salah and Brad Stanton too. That would be a great fight. Ooh, now that, that, now it's, one, it's a loss, isn't it? It's a cut loss. Salah won that one, didn't he, with a spinning I'll elbow? I'll tell you what, it's one of the, the, the most accurate elbows you'll ever see. It's a spinning elbow straight across the uh, cheekbone of Brad Stanton because it opened up a horrible cut. But it, it turning out it was going to be, well, it was an entertaining fight, but it was turning out to be an absolute war, and Salah put it out the back with an incredible elbow. Yeah, Salah spent some time also in Koh Samui, Thailand, where he's training at the WMC camp. Well, Muay Thai Council. But Yokao really bringing it on art. You know, you can have us at Yokao Boxing on Twitter and also on Facebook to find out what's going on, what's available, and what is happening. www.moitaicombat.it to find out what is going on in the world of the Yokao people. As I said before, a glass of Muay Thai champagne comes to Bolton. And we know how it's Yokao. Definitely. What a show, Kieran. Yeah, absolutely. Already been some incredible wars and young talents coming through. And uh, even though these two are young, they're still these, these two are established stars and they're so young. Salah's only 22. Wow. You know, you, he's been around that long. You'd you think he was <laughs> old, wouldn't you? Yeah. Very polite, nice, well-mannered kid. Salah. Really is the spirit of Muay Thai, yeah, you know. He, he it, does, you know, you know what no he does? He does seminars for um, charity as well. They've got to give no. credit, you know. Some people don't like his confidence. They think he borders and arrogance. I, I'm not. I don't, I don't think he's, he's never been arrogant to us. Spreading the word. Simple as that. Yeah. So as Craig Willis takes off the traditional headdress of the Mon Con and gives Steve Long the breath of Buddha as he enters. The lair of the beast, Salah Kali. Our referee is Mr. Chris Podesta. And we are cranking up, ladies and gentlemen, for something very, very special. Starting at Southport. Nice turn by Salah. Very nice. Tate looks strong at this weight, doesn't it? Looks better. Much better. Yeah. He's turned from boy to man overnight, isn't he? Look at his body's developed a hell of a lot more. Yeah, he does. Looks oh. A really nice left wow. hook from Salah, and down goes Long. What a shot from the beast. He's on absolutely. Tell you what. what he's in really bad trouble here. If he walks towards Chris, he'll be on one knee. Chris may stop this. What a shot! Wow! Clinical, precise, and straight on the button. He caught the leg, dropped it, and threw a left hook. And Superb a performance by he Salah. Big to Salah. He just said, "Stay long." He goes, uh, "I'm going to go at him early and hard." And that he did and delivered. You know what? He completely eradicated the loss to Yotsen Klein. You got to give the kid credit. What a shot! Wow, and Chris Podesta did a brilliant job there. As I said, he let him walk forward. He's seen that his legs betrayed him and scintillated performance. Wow, too strong for long. The beast strikes, and that was a scintillated shot, wasn't it? It was. He caught him early, you know, on the tee, dropped the tee, swung a left hook round straight on the chin, and uh, he was out. Steel on, shell shocked, but it hit him absolutely perfect. 
Lucas Salas looks strong at 67. Him and Stan in the future prize is going to be a great contest. Great performance. Khalifa. So the beat strikes. And your appreciation, please, for Steve Wall. To consider his options, I'm sure he will carry on. Shot, shot. Great performance for Salas. See his corner, just delight Paul Taylor and his wife to be in three months. Salas get married in December. Oh, congratulations to him and his life. Congratulations. Brilliant performance and Yoko. The train that is Yoko carries on going forward. <laughs>